Many of you have come to highly appreciate Stream Deck panels in your professional media productions, and I'll say it's also impressive what you get for the money, and now it's even better because you can include Stream Deck panels with your Skahoy broadcast controllers and you can compensate for some of the obvious shortcomings it has. Stream Deck has buttons, Skahoy panels, they have knobs, faders, and joysticks as well. And most importantly, we have a really powerful application running on the panels called Reactor, which is designed to create pages of functionality on Stream Decks, as well as native Skahoy panels. In other words, you don't need a PC computer anymore to use your Stream Deck panel, just a Skahoy panel and a Blue Pill server. This is a Blue Pill server. It has a USB-A port. It's going to a USB hub today because we need additional power for the Stream Deck panels we are gonna apply to this uh, blue pill. The blue pill has a web UI. This is Reactor. I just mentioned this is the engine that allows you to assign functionality and also pick useful out of the box configurations. I want to get started right away and show you how easy it is to connect this. So we have a number of Stream Decks here that I can connect to the hub. So let's do that. We'll just connect this one and then we'll see what happens on this Stream Deck panel. So it lights up like this. And now you see it is connected to the blue pill. I have an additional one, so I want to put in two stream decks like that. Okay, we just put them side by side and it also is recognized as you saw the first one be. So if I want to assign any functionality to this one, basically I just need to add a panel and you see those two panels are already popping up here, automatically discovered. I'll just select one of them. So this is the one that got automatically picked and it is picking a configuration called vMix Output Control. So one thing I didn't mention in the introduction is that most of the time, many of you will be happy to pick a default configuration from this list. That means out of the box functionality, no need to sit and configure a whole lot. You can also do that. It's called create custom configuration. And um, maybe we should also take a look at that. But today I want to show you how we can actually connect this to a Kumo router. So let's just find a Kumo router on the network. I have it here on this IP address, but it is going to be uh, discovered. I think it may take sometimes a few seconds before it's announced on the network, but we should have it come up in a moment. There we go. The Kumo router will just pick it from this list and it is connected to in a moment. In the meantime, I also want to search for video hubs because we have a Blackmagic video hub somewhere on this network too. And we should be able to discover that. There we see a video hub overflow. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. I have ATEM switches as well that I want to find. So let's just find an ATEM switcher here. We have a television studio. We'll pick that one as well. Now we are ready. We also need to uh, pick a configuration. So for this AJ Kumo routing, but there we go. And now I can select my output on the Kumo and it's going to route inputs. Let's check this out in the web UI. We have a destination called three. What is Destination number three, that's SV1, and I can route using my Stream Deck. That's pretty neat, right? So why did I put up two Stream Decks? Because I thought it would be fun to show you how we can also combine these, and that goes for all Skahoy panels. Actually, we have something called a Mega Panel. That's the one, and those modules it consists of, they are connected by IP, and likewise, I have made a pre-configuration of the Stream Decks where you have two Stream Decks, one for the output and one for the input. So all we need to do now is to just add that second Stream Deck panel. And we can discover that on the network by this function, by adding it here. And it's found. And now you'll see this one is being connected. Okay, let's go back to the to the Kumo router. I can now pick my output here. So let's pick output number four. That's SV2. And now I can route over on this panel. You see it? This one is actually responding to changes over here. So in the display, it changes just slightly what it says based on that. What about the... Stream Deck large version, the Excel version. What about that one? Let's connect this, turn it on. There we go. And let's see if our USB hub can power all this stuff. Just add these two. Okay, so now we have Excel Stream Decks linked in, even alongside these two other ones. Okay. Yes, so um, what we'll do in absolutely the same way is to see if they pop up here somewhere. Let's search stream. There we go. We have these two stream decks. I'll just add both of them. And the second also. 
and there we go. Okay, so now both of these are connected. They are also connected to the same configuration. Now let's pick the video hub. We have two times Stream Deck Excel that we can assign here. We can actually do exactly the same configuration if we want. Uh, wait, um, let's just pick this one because that's like a single one. So what is the single one? Well, I let this row of buttons pick the output and then this one has the input. So now we could sync them all up using output number four. And then you see that any of these panels are actually going to show the routed source. Did I not do? Oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm mixing things together. We are controlling the video hub on this one. So that video hub would be, let's pick destination here, and now we can route the sources. So we see that is working out. But over here, if I pick that same, we see these two would be synchronized across. I also did, um, as small as a demonstration, show how you can pick two Stream Deck Excels like this. And then for this one down here, we would remove the configuration and instead use this one and pick that panel to be included. And now these two, in a similar sense as those, just swap them around, will now have output select over here and input select on these buttons over here. There are uh, functions, the same functions actually, as you see on our other Skahoy branded panels, if you hold down this one, there is an, a, uh, a way to access presets and then you can recall presets across these panels. But notice how they are working synchronously like this. There is also another cool thing, which is the B version. And notice that now we have outputs and inputs here, but if I choose the B version, I actually spread it across them. So now we see that outputs are like going through these rows. That's number two, three, four, five, so on. And then it moves on to output number nine selected there. And then you have the inputs continuing on the second stream deck. I think you should be convinced right now that modularity is a true thing with Skahoy's ecosystem. You are really able to take any control panel and combine it this way. And even the Stream Deck Mini can be a part of this whole ecosystem. There are configurations that includes the Stream Deck Mini as well as an example more or less. I want to show you how you can also configure this freely. So let's do that for this Stream Deck. Let's just make a custom configuration for this one. So one of these are going to blank out, or maybe both of them. Oh, OK, it's both of them. But then you can go into the Configuration tab. And let's just make sure that we remember we had this ATEM Television Studio. So the way you would configure this inside the Configuration tab would be to just find the uh, Stream Deck that you want to configure this one. And then on this one, you have pages. You can create page number two, just like actually the Stream Deck application itself. And now you can go between the background page and page number two. You can also make page number three. There is one advanced thing here, which is called transparency. And it means that when you create a page, it is by default actually showing you what is on the background. So you would normally fill the background out with all your main functionality. And then you would add pages on top of that, which sometimes let the background actions shine through. We also have shift levels so that you, in a broadcast style, can has assign a shift key that will give you another transparent layer to, to do this. But to quickly show you what we could do for an ATEM switcher, we can mark these, open Blackmagic's ATEM Television Studio, go to Program Preview, for instance, and then pick Program Preview from this one. And now immediately, we actually have this selected. We just need to pick an input value, and I'll pick one for all of them. That means it now says camera number one. And you see we have this simulator, which is really, really cool. It says the same as in the displays. And if I use the batch editor, I can quickly change this around. And sometimes I would benefit from showing less columns here, but let's just go to, we have input number one, we have input number two, and now I have this plus one button here in the bottom, which helps me to quickly populate it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this case, we have only six inputs, but they are clearly marked here, and now I can switch them using that. Hey, I want a cut button. Maybe that is actually what I really wanted out here, so I'll just click this one, and instead, I'll change the behavior over to, let's search, cut, it has cut here, I pick it, now we have cut. So you see guys, this is just so quick to configure your Stream Deck like this. You can have out of the box configurations, you can do your own thing, you can create a new page. Remember this one was transparent, so on top of this we would basically overlay these actions. If we created a new page that is not transparent, not transparent, then it would actually, if I go to that page, wipe out everything underneath. There are so many opportunities. It's the same for Skahoy panels as well as Stream Deck. I hope you appreciated this video where we go through this and, um, and find a chance to connect your Stream Deck to your Skahoy device like the Blue Pill server here or any panel that has the USB-A on the back of it. Because in this way, you can really 
in a very powerful way, combine the advanced professional panels from Skahoy with the Stream Deck and all the advantages that they have and that you have come to appreciate. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, then please like and subscribe to our channel. We also welcome comments here on YouTube or on social media, and we would really like to engage with you. So if you need any assistance, then reach out to our sales and support team. They are always happy to help you.